and happy Eid, Fatih. Thank you. Happy Eid to all. Thank you very much for all for coming. In my life, I wear so many hats. I'm a woman. I'm an immigrant. I'm an exile. I'm a Muslim. I am a mother. I am an activist, anti-war and an, an, uh, anti-apartheid activist. And I am a Palestinian. These are some of the identities that make me as a whole person. And Donald Trump and his administration and their veil ideology represent a serious threat to each one of these identities. Yes. Since Trump's election, we have seen a huge increase in bigotry, mythology, xenophobia, environmental destruction, war, imperialism, and white supremacism. Not just in the United States, but all over the world. Even here at home in Ireland has not proved itself immune to his right-wing extremism. <laughs> Meanwhile in Palestine, the Trump-Netanyahu axis of racism is an ongoing disaster for the Palestinian people. The Trump regime has enacted a series of harsh policies, including recognizes occupied uh, Jerusalem as the capital of the apartheid state of Israel, recognizing Israel's illegal annexation of Syrian Golan Heights, threatening the International Criminal Court, and cutting all funding to UNRWA, the agency responsible for providing education and health care to millions of Palestinian refugees. Trump has also been enabling yet more vicious attacks on Palestinians by the Netanyahu regime. Israel continues a brutally repressed Palestinian resistance with almost 200 unarmed Palestinian protesters deliberately shot dead and thousands in, uh, wounded in Gaza. Thousands of political prisoners, including hundreds of children, remain in Israeli jails. In passing the nation state law last year, Israel further enchanted uh, its system of uh, anti-Palestinian apartheid, while racism and incitement with Israel are at uh, an all-time high. During the recent election, threats were made to illegally annex more Palestinian land. And with a new election due in a few months, we will see, uh, we will see an increase in violent anti-Palestinian rhetoric and action. Internationally, Israel and the US and their allies attempting uh, to suppress international solidarity by trying to outlaw the boycott, divestment, and sanction the BDS movement. Make no mistake, things are looking bleak for Palestinians, especially as all of this occurring with total impunity. There is an absence of any meaningful protests from the international community, including, sadly, our government here in Ireland. Yes. Yes. There can be no doubt that Donald Trump is an anti-Palestinian and pro-Israeli apartheid racist. But he is a threat to more than the, uh, just us, the Palestinians. He represents the politi politics of hate, fear, division, and hopelessness. Yes. He is danger. He is a danger to the survival of our planet and everybody in it. Yes. Yes. There, these are scary times. But we people of conscience must not and will not stand on the sideline. No. We will redouble our efforts and in the fight against colonialism, apartheid, racism, and imperialism, imperialist war. Yes. In Palestine, in Ireland, in the US, and everywhere else, we must organize and build our effective uh, efforts to cre and create movement of resistance that will liberate us all. Yes. Yes.
Together, we will continue the struggle for freedom, justice, and equality to all people. Great yes. Israel, free Palestine, save the planet, and the hell will come. From the river to the sea. 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 Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Sorry, I have to shout on that one.